Watchman Nee was a Chinese man who surrendered to Jesus as both his Savior and Lord when he was 17 years old. He said that it was a difficult decision he struggled with for a while because he considered being saved as the same as becoming God's servant. He did not know if he wanted to commit his life to God's service. One night, he knelt on the floor of his room and prayed to God about this dilemma. He experienced such an overwhelming outpouring of love that he could hardly contain it. He could not reject this love that he was shown. He decided then and there that he would not only accept Jesus as the Savior of his sins and the giver of eternal life, but his Lord and Master, whom he would serve and obey for the rest of his life. He never attended Bible college or got a degree in theology. He studied the scriptures diligently and read many books of other Christians who went before him. He began writing as soon as he became a Christian, and has written volumes of books about walking with God that are still widely read today. He walked with God as few people have, and gave up everything worldly to obey his Master. Few people can read his works without feeling that their own walks with God, are mere shallow imitations within a man-made Christian system. Ni pursued God with all his heart and life, not interested in pleasing man or merely modifying his speech and behavior to appease a community of people. He pursued truth without compromise, willing to literally die for his Lord at any time. He gave up his future, his dreams, his opinions, his desires, and sought God's will alone. He faced intimidation by Chinese authorities, experienced arrests, beatings, imprisonment, and even torture for his faith. Through these hardships, he held on to God and walked by faith. He entrusted whatever situation he was in, to God's providence and trusted him to protect and sustain him. Once, when he was in pain, he asked God to heal him, but he was not healed. He looked out to sea and noticed a ship near some big rocks. God said to him in his heart, should I remove the rocks or raise the water level? And he said that God taught him that sometimes God removes the rocks in our lives, but sometimes he keeps them there, and increases his grace to us, a grace that is always sufficient to carry us through the situation. Ni nee was sentenced, to 15 years in prison, though he committed no crime. He never made it out, and actually spent 20 years imprisoned. He died inside of his prison cell on May 30, 1972, only six months after his wife died. Under his pillow in his jail cell, he left these words in big words on a piece of paper, Christ is the Son of God who died for the redemption of sinners and resurrected after three days. This is the greatest truth in the universe. I die because of my belief in Christ.